Hi guys and welcome back. Today I'm working on this watercolor painting which is really exciting because it's been a while since I've worked on one that's more decently sized and more detailed and uh, yeah I I miss this. I really love being able to work in watercolors so so yeah it's good to get back to that uh, but today I want to talk about how working and studying two different mediums has completely changed my artistic life and that might sound really dramatic but it's true it's completely given me a 180 on how I felt about working on my art and thinking about my art so I want to talk a bit about it I want to talk about my experience and some of the things that I learned that I'm surprised that I learned and maybe this will give you some inspiration on the mediums that you would like to try or maybe even just a new fresh way of looking at a single medium that you're using but but anyways I I had been using watercolors basically 95% of every piece of artwork that I did was watercolors for the last couple of years now and since I had started learning in college I I loved it I completely fell in love with how clean and crisp colors can be with watercolors and how you can layer them and create these really beautiful effects and I I loved being able to use them in a very controlled clean way I loved using my line work with it it just completely clicked but as time went on more recently I felt that I haven't had that same spark or excitement to work on it and I'd finish pieces and not feel really satisfied with it even though it would be checking all the boxes of what I wanted out of that piece and um, I, I think that there's a lot of reasons why that is, why I was feeling less connected and enthused with my pieces. And I've talked about several of the other things that I think has influenced that in other pieces or in other videos in the past. But but yeah, I, I do think that this shift into working with two different mediums, it has really made a difference on how I interact with watercolors. So semi-recently, I think I started thinking about it about a year ago, and I've been really getting into using oils the probably the past couple of months, maybe six months. And it, uh, yeah, it has completely changed the way that I think about my pieces when I'm working on the very conceptualized idea. And I think that's the most exciting thing about it, because if you have multiple mediums that you have at your disposal, that you're really putting your all into figuring out and you're excited about using it and you enjoy them there are different positives and negatives to every medium so when you're thinking of an idea that idea might work so perfectly with one medium and be less perfect for another one there's a lot of pieces that i have thought of since i've gotten into oils that really rely on very rich dark dark colors that is harder to achieve with watercolors. With watercolors they can tend to look grainy and have a less desirable effect. So just being able to reach that full level of value in an oil painting, it allowed me to be able to take pieces that I normally would reel it back in, I would change the colors, I would rethink them, or sometimes I would even move past them because it didn't feel like I'd be able to achieve them well in watercolors. And now I can actually do them. Now I can transition into doing those pieces the way that I first envisioned them. And that means that when I'm working on a piece that's in watercolors, it is well suited for that. It's a piece that I want to get that crispness out of it and that layering, the glazing effect. And I... I'm much more comfortable with pigments that are watercolors because I've owned them and used them for a lot longer. So it's something that that when I'm using my watercolors, I'm able to achieve the colors that I'm looking for easier and quicker. And yeah, I, there's a certain translucency to it. So so anyways, the, the point is, is that because I, I've really tried to figure out both oils and watercolors, it means that, that I can pick the one that's well suited for an idea rather than constantly feeling like I'm not able to achieve what I want out of a piece. And that helps me to feel less, less frustrated with my original medium, which was watercolors. 
And another huge benefit that I found is that it just keeps everything feeling fresh. When I switch from an oil painting back to a watercolor painting, when I'm working with watercolors, it just really brings to light how, how many positives there are to it. The fact that watercolors are much quicker and that I can control it easier because I'm, I'm more comfortable with them, but it is something that comes with it. So when I switch between the two, I find that I get reminded of the extra joys of using that specific medium and it just makes it feel exciting and fun. And, and then when I switch back to oils, there's, there's those benefits that makes it feel fun and exciting. It's a new medium. So I feel invested in learning from it. So yeah, I just, it just adds so much more freshness to it. <laughs> I don't know how else to say. I think that a lot of us might have experienced that in our lives where if you're doing one thing and one thing only, it tends to get a little monotonous, a little stale. And then if you switch things up. If you start incorporating new ways of doing things or completely different things, it works different parts of your brain. It works different muscles and different approaches to your artwork. And because of that, it means when you're switching between the two, they feed off of each other, but it helps it so that everything just feels new again. And I love that. I love that feeling when I start a piece again, like when I'm working on an oil painting and I get back to it after taking a, a time away from it to work on a different piece that say in watercolors or even digital. When I get back to it, it feels new again, even though I'd been working on it for hours and hours, which helps so much from from just feeling like I'm drudging my way through everything. And ultimately, as artists, hopefully we'll be able to get to a point where we can all figure out what we need personally. I know that there are some artists out there that have found their perfect medium. It is exactly what they need. Every time they use it, it's exciting and perfect and wonderful. But I think a lot of us could really benefit from having multiple mediums, even if your second one or your third one or whatever number it is, is just there as a creative outlet. I find that when I can sit down and I just use crayons or or just like really crappy markers, there's a different part of my brain that's that's turned on to working on my artwork when I'm working like that, when I'm working on something differently, when I'm loosening up and not being tied to feeling like it has to be perfect because it's a new medium, it's a new thing, it behaves differently, it allows me to express things completely differently. And it, it just renews me as an artist. And yeah, if you've been thinking about trying out a new medium, adding it to your list, I highly recommend it. There are a few different ways that you can go about it. There are some mediums that are just really compatible so that you could say, learn watercolors and colored pencils, and then ultimately find ways to merge the two together, which a lot of artists do really beautifully. Or you could choose two different mediums that are more on the polar opposite side of things, kind of like what I did where watercolors and oils are very different. They check off different boxes, they solve different problems. And uh, yeah, I, I think that there are a lot of different ways to approach this, uh, this kind of subject matter of looking for new mediums to add to your list. And, and the nice thing is that if something clicks and it works and you're excited about it, then you can continue down that path. And if it doesn't, then then you can move on. You can let that one go and and take that as a learning experience. And this one might just be me, but I've found that since I started researching and really trying to figure out new techniques to use in oils because I'm so new to it, it's making me look back at the techniques that I use in watercolors. And it's helping me realize that I, I've haven't really sought out new knowledge, new skills in watercolors in a while now. And I, I want that same forward trajectory that I currently have with oils. I want that to also be over in my watercolors. I want to be learning new things and I want to strive for that continued knowledge and skill base. So, so yeah, it's, it's very inspiring for me to just continue researching, continue practicing and learning. And I love that. I love the feeling of progression in artwork like that. 
But that's about it that I have to say about the topic. I just really love being able to switch between two mediums that I'm actively trying to get better at. Uh, but let's just talk really quickly about this piece. I loved being able to work on the crystal ball. That's one of the things that works so well in watercolors is working on translucent elements because watercolors by nature are translucent. So that was really fun to be able to work through that and have the bones and the skull floating inside of this crystal so that you could see through it and see the elements of her shirt and her skin and everything. That was maybe one of my favorite parts to paint on this piece. And I decided to completely forgo any highlights in her eyes. I actually really liked this very empty, flat look for her eyeballs so that they could look almost like she is looking into your future and not seeing what's present, but seeing something that's far away in time. I, I enjoyed keeping it really just flat and stark like that. And I do have prints and the original painting of Bad Luck available at my shop. There's a link down in the description that'll take you over there. I am really happy with this one. I loved working on it and I'm really happy with the way she turned out. And if you happen to get the original painting, I am excited for you to be able to see all the little gold details that are on the piece. But, but yeah, I... I do want to give a huge thank you, as always, to all of my patrons over on Patreon. I, I can't thank you guys enough for all of the support that you show me over there. You help me to be able to make artwork like this, so, so thank you. I do have a link to my Patreon down in the description if you're interested in checking that out. But, but yeah, I think that's about it for today. So I will see you guys next time with some more artwork, and uh, yeah, I'll see you then.